what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so i've been thinking about this for a long time because there hasn't been an update on this topic in almost a year a little over a year perhaps uh where exactly is this buffy reboot the reboot that got announced last year at san diego comic-con i believe it was uh just around this time and nothing has come out about this show ever since so we do know that monica breen is the show is going to be the show runner and joss whedon is returning to participate in this show as well um then we had some a bit of a up uprising or an outrage from fans who grew up with the original saying that they didn't want the characters brought back and told in a different way this that and the other uh, then Monica Breen came out saying that, reassuring them that it wouldn't tamper with what was already established, but that it would be time to meet a new Slayer. So kind of teasing that this could be a continuation of the universe that we already have established that ended in 2003 with the series finale chosen. Uh, details about the series are basically no nothing we know that those two are involved monica breen joss whedon uh several of the original cast members have expressed interest in potentially showing up such as uh james marsters who played spike in the original series the um the original plan i believe they said was to have a black actress pick up the role as the slayer so when everyone started seeing headlines black buffy everyone kind of assumed that that meant that they were going to be retelling the story of buffy but now buffy's going to be black then monica breen came out and said it's not going to be the case at all now it doesn't mean that this is going to be a continuation from what happened in the original show that could mean that this is going to be in a world where buffy never existed and we have someone else maybe her name her name probably won't even be buffy but since it's a buffy the vampire slayer reboot it, that's how they're going to get their uh, attention on the show by calling it a Buffy the Vampire Slayer reboot because it's going to be following the same premise, I assume, as the original show. Um, this could also mean that perhaps this is a character named Buffy who is black but in a different universe. Uh, let's say that Buffy does exist, but this isn't one of those parallel universes and one of those dimensions that we've heard talked about in the original show. Uh, this black buffy or black slayer african-american slayer this could be a slayer that was activated as a result of what happened at the end of the series finale uh those of you who are familiar with the show you know what happened in the series finale and how that led to like the activation of all the potential slayers around the world all of buffy's powers faith's powers they got passed down and shared everyone who could have the power would have the power this that and the other yada yada, yada. um I don't know what is going on with this show. I haven't heard anything about it. I don't know if anyone else has heard anything about it. Buffy, aka Sarah Michelle Geller, however, she did come out earlier this year reassuring us that she would not be participating in the show. Now, things could always change, of course, once the show goes up, gets up and running and down the road if they want to get her in for like a small cameo or whatever that's always something that could occur uh me personally i just hope that this is a continuation from chosen i hope it's in a world where buffy did exist buffy ha buffy still does exist maybe she has died or something and of course we still have the active slayers that are still remaining uh maybe eliza dushku could appear as faith uh maybe willow rosenberg get allison hannigan uh, maybe some people from the original show could show up in this reboot just for small cameos. I do want to say that I hope the show, when it does come, because there's nothing been out saying that it got canceled or anything, but this wouldn't be the first time we've heard news about a Buffy project coming and then it just went, went silent. Because there was talks about a Buffy movie a few years ago, and then I think nothing ever came of that. Uh, a lot of people don't even want to see this TV show continuation, whether it's a reboot or not. They're not up for it. They want it to be left alone. Uh, the cast and the crew from Buffy and its spinoff series, Angel, they've all had recent reunions. Angel being the most recent, they had a reunion to celebrate this 15th anniversary of the series finale, I believe that was. Uh, I'm really just hoping that this show is going to have a Slayer picking up that was activated at the end of Chosen. We follow her story. It kind of relies on its own characters, builds its own identity, and doesn't rely on the nostalgia of the show that came before it make references to that show of course and follow the same methods that they follow that proved to be successful uh and kind of give it an updated version but don't be a frame for frame copy 
of uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, if this is going to be a continuation and this is a new Slayer, I want to see what her life is like as opposed to Buffy. I want to see her in a different situation, different setting, different this, different that, uh, different friends, different everything. Don't I, But we don't have to worry about any of that because Monica Breen already assured us that we wouldn't have uh, a new Buffy, a new Xander, a new Willow. We're not going to have any of that. We're going to have apparently what it sounded like was all new characters because that doesn't mean that the girl won't be Buffy but it won't be the Buffy that we all knew it won't be Sarah Michelle Gellar's Buffy uh and then the fact that she mentioned that the Xander, Anya, Willow, Tara, all of those good characters that everyone loves, they will not be touched. That lets you know that they're not going to have those characters of, or any characters of those names in this upcoming reboot, continuation, whatever it's going to be. Um, I don't know what they're going to do. I just hope that it's a continuation from Chosen and that it follows a new African-American slayer and we just follow her story and we see how she handles this and then we can build on the mythos established in the original series all those years ago make references to it and kind of just use that as a crutch not as a crutch to um, rely on to get views but use it as like a support system to make your own identity over here but still paying homage to the original show that came before it here or there and just making reference to it uh let me know what you guys think about the buffy reboot down in the comment section below if you're fans of the series uh what do you guys think about that show are you excited for this reboot are you not uh in the description i have links on my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video